So here we have double trouble, guys. So here's Casper and Penny, and they're sitting waiting for their treat before Mama starts to record her video. Okay, you can be a good boy. There we go. No. Okay, Penny, sit. Good girl. Now, there you go, and off they go. Hi guys, my name is Gráinne and this is my channel, Jungle Flowers Canada. Thank you so much for joining me. This is a very exciting episode for me because these Hoyas I particularly love. They are doing amazingly because they're in my kitchen window, which gets beautiful sunshine. Um, I also have a lot of Hoyas hanging in the windows, which I will show you after I show these ones. So without further ado, let's get into the video. First plant I need to show you is the Hoya Clemensorium. This leaf is spectacular. Take a look at it. It's almost prehistoric looking, isn't it? So you can see I have had a lot of growth on this plant. These are actually the two newest leaves that I got recently and um, I did get some, but I did get most of these leaves since I am, since I imported the plant. I absolutely love this plant. I am so excited to have it. And I know it's probably one on a lot of your wish lists. I would say definitely get it. It's a fast grower. You can see there is a new leaf coming there. I hope it's focusing on the leaf and not my face. And I think there probably, we probably will get more leaves going up this tendril. So it, the, the leaf is so textured. Can you see it there? It has lots of lovely ridges on it. It has lots of splash in there. And you know, it is an expensive one, I know, but I think this one is worth it. It is gorgeous. Now I imported this from, oops. I imported this from Indonesia and I'm just so happy. Now I, this, I did take a cutting, so I have I actually have two stems in here, um, but it was just this a single plant, and you can see it is doing absolutely marvelous, marvelously. So definitely one of my favorites, the Hoya clemensorium. It's in my pond, and you can see I have just these were just soup containers that I just used my soldering iron just to put uh, like slits in, and I put some holes in the bottom. And um, you can see it's, it's doing marvelously. So, so next up is my beautiful Hoya Sarawak. And can you see, let me just hold it here, that it just put out this new leaf. Look at that, guys. Isn't that stunning? Now, this was putting out baby leaves for me before. And when I did a video, I knocked the little leaves off. So I'm very, very careful not to do that again. But um, it's like this one is lovely and healthy and you can see how much bigger it is than the previous one. So this, these would have come out in my care too, but this is the newest and look at the size of it and look at the shine and the redness of it. And it's just, I just love it. It is in pawn and it's in one of my DIY, DIY self-watering pots. If you saw my video where I showed you how to make these water gauges, they're just um, turkey basters with a straw and a little weight in it. And this pot has like a little tray on the bottom and it acts like a self-watering pot. So you can see the plant is very, very happy in here and is having absolutely no issues. This leaf here faces the window, so it is getting ever so slightly sun stressed. So here is the beautiful Hoya Sarawak. Next up is another gorgeous one. I love this. Look at the leaves. I gotta try and get it out of my way from my face. This is the Hoya Tangamus, and I think this is gorgeous. Again, beautiful veining, some nice splashing, and this is also a fast grower. I'll show you here, this is a new leaf. Sorry, my light is, my light is fading. Okay. It's still not fully hardened off, so I'm hoping it will get a little bit bigger. 
and um, you can see here there's another baby leaf coming up there. So this is, it's put out quite a large, long tendril so I just wrapped it back around and up and hopefully it will um, produce more leaves around this trellis. And I just, I think this is just gorgeous. Again, this was one plant, but I got two cuttings out of it. So I have one on either side of the trellis. These again were new leaves that came out, but just not quite as large. So I am very pleased with the, this plant again in my palm and doing very, very well. The Hoya Tangamus. I want to be careful of that new leaf so it doesn't fall off. So this here, it looks like the Australis Lisa, but I actually bought it as a Hoya Australis variegata and I bought it from Thailand. It was just a tiny little cutting. I did have a Lisa as well and what I noticed was the Lisa leaves were a bit smaller than this. So um, I'm not sure if it is the same plant or if there are two different types within the um, Australis family. But look, you can see there's two new beautiful bright pink leaves coming out. You can see the gorgeous uh, variegation on the leaves. Look, isn't that just stunning? And it's loving its life in pond. So I did have it in soil and then I took it out of pond and you can see out of pond. I took it out of soil and put it again in one of my self-watering pots. Again, I have that little water gauge there to tell me when it needs to be watered. And it is very, very happy. Again, it's in my kitchen window, so it's getting beautiful light. And I cannot wait until it's like Kevin's from Hakuna La Planta. His is enormous. If you want to pop over to his channel and look for his video on his, it's amazing. So of course, my dream is to get it to go all over this. When it gets larger, I may take a cutting and replant so that I can get a fuller plant. The Hoya Australis variegata. So this here is the Hoya Jennifer. Now again, this was an import and she is doing beautifully as well. A gorgeous leaf on that. So she is growing very vigorously and I just recently put her on these tre this trellis that I got actually from my daughter for my birthday. Oh, that leaf. So you can see when I, when I tried to wrap it around, this leaf is now facing backwards, but that will be fine. There is another look at that leaf. I hope you can see it clearly there. This one is in soil and um, yeah, it's doing great. It's not root bound yet. The Hoya Jennifer. This is supposed to be a Tangamus as well. So when I ordered the Tangamus from Indonesia, I ordered two of them. Or did he say? Oh, I had ordered two gun and gadding and he sent me two tangamas instead because he couldn't get the gun and gadding. But this is growing in a slightly different way. So I'm not 100% sure if it's a different variety of tangamas to the other one. The mature leaves are very similar to my other one. I know there's a lot of plants that look similar to this, so maybe it's a different variety because it's definitely growing. The leaf, the way the leaf is growing is completely different to my other tangamus. And you can see there that there is a, can you see there, there's the new leaf coming. Okay, so now I'm going to take you around and show you the ones in my window. I have actually got beautiful windows in my kitchen. It's the only room that's really bright and, you know, so it's, a ni it's actually a very nice location for my Hoyas. So I will turn the camera around and I will show you. This is the Hoya Pachiclada. You can see there, there is a peduncle and it did flower for me last year. It has the most beautiful flower. Here we have the Hoya Kentiana variegated or variegata and if I can, it's kind of hard to see here because of the sun. There, I think you can see it better there. So this is beautiful. I got this plant three years ago and I did have some issues with it and some of it reverted, but I think it's finally happy now. So the Hoya Kentiana Variegata. I know some people say it's a Wyetii, but I, it was sold to me as a Kentiana, so I know it can be hard to tell the difference, but I believe it's a Kentiana. Hey guys, I should know the name of this. Oh my gosh, and I just can't think of the name of it now. 
I will put the name on the screen. Um, it has a very unique shaped leaf. I can't, I think of the name of it. And um, it's doing nicely here. I just bought it last year, so I'm hoping it's going to take off for me this year and get bigger. I will put the name on the screen. And this is another one that I can't think of the name of. Um, this one, so these, I bought these two in Vandermeers and I don't know if you can, can you see there, let me see. go in. I will get the names for you guys. I'm so sorry, I just can't think of them off the top of my head. But this has a nice thin little leaf and, you know, it's, they've, these two have been quite slow. Oh, Manny Parensis. This is the Manny Parensis. This here is my Hoya Crimson Princess. And guys, this is growing so beautifully. Look at the leaves. Look at that. Isn't that just spectacular? And she's growing all the way up here. And you can see that there are some, can you see them? I saw some new leaves, yes. There is a new leaf up there. You can see the pink on it. But just look at the variegation on this plant. It is truly stunning. Not so rare, but these ones in particular, I just love them. I sit and have a cup of tea and just stare at them. <laughs> Sorry, they're swinging now because I touched the macrame. But isn't that just gorgeous? And it hangs on my window. So beautiful. I'm just going to stand further back and hopefully you can get an idea of how gorgeous she is in my window. We have to go over the light. So there we go. The Hoya Crimson Princess. Here we have the Hoya Retusa and she has flowered for me and the flowers are so sweetly scented and I just think this is so whimsical. Look at the little thin little leaves on them. And you can see she is, if I can catch hold of her, she is growing away nicely here in this window. And I think a lot of people's flowered this year, or last year, because um, I did see a lot on Instagram with flowers. Let's turn her this way so you can get a better look at her. So the Hoya Retusa. This might be hard to see, but here we have the Hoya fungi. Again, this is another really pretty veining leaf and it does sun stress. So, I'm so it has grown quite well here. This particular spot in the window seems to put out a lot of beautiful growth. And I hope, can you, can you get a good view of it there? So the Hoya fungi. Here we have one of my favorites. So this is the Hoya Helwegiana. Again, this is one that sun stresses, so I'm hoping it will sun stress in this window, but it is just one of my favorites. I love this little plant. Here we have the Hoya Rotunda Flora. I have to see, can I get this to record better? So the Hoya Rotunda Flora. I love the square leaves on this. And you can see she's actually just naturally started growing up my macrame, see how square the leaf is. So the Hoya Rotunda Flora. Sorry if the lighting is not great on that, guys. And last but not least is the Hoya Lacunosa Silver. Oh, look there, you can see the beautiful silver. Isn't that gorgeous? I love this plant. Now I am having a little bit of pro trouble with one of the strands over this side and I'm not sure if it's my kettle that's doing it or if it's just struggling but hopefully I can I can't see what you can see there but I'm hoping that you can get a nice view of the top of it and this is like one that I really love it's very readily available now in my area but it, it for a long time it wasn't and I just think it is stunning so the Hoya Lacunosa Silver 
Okay guys, so that's everything for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you watched till the end, don't forget to put the green heart emoji in the comments. I would say I have one more video left to do in my Hoya mini series. And they're just ones that I have on a shelf and some that I have hanging in my den. So guys, you take care and have a wonderful day. And thanks again for popping by.